Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 25th, 2022, and I'm back with another Twin Flame reading. I'm Brittany. I'm a psychic and a healer. I also happen to be a Syrian and an Andromedan star seed, a Taurus sun, Virgo rising, and Aquarius moon, INTJ, and Gryffindor. So, yeah. With that being said, let's get into the reading, shall we? And remember, I use she for divine feminine and he for divine masculine. So we use different pronouns and switch them accordingly. So yeah, um, the thing we'll be using for divine feminine will be the White Light Oracle by Elena Fairchild. So let's see what's going on for divine feminine. What is going on with Divine Feminine as of May 25th, 2022? What is going on with Divine Feminine as of May 25th, 2022? So yes, the first card for Divine Feminine will be you see to skull 333. So I feel like 333 could be a number sequence you see in Divine Feminine. And also, yeah, um, 666 as well. So what I definitely get for Divine Feminine is that I feel like she's being called to pull back her energy for now. I feel like the Divine Feminine is kind of in her mode. She's reflecting. And I feel like what's going on with Divine Feminine is that I feel like she just feels lost in general. She may not exactly like something that's going on and she's she can't put a finger on it she can't exactly articulate what she doesn't like and i feel like that right now divine feminine is like dealing with a lot of anxiety right now perhaps a lot of racing thoughts i feel like divine feminine might not have been getting any sleep as well so yeah divine feminine um i feel like the maybe yeah i also feel like there's a headache here so someone may be having third eye activations but i see like there's a lot of solar plexus activations going on so i feel like divine feminine's um consciousness is expanding right now she's seeing new um truths um truths that she has previously disregarded before and now she's actually learning how to access her divine wisdom i also see for divine feminine that um I also hear, yeah, I hear the Divine Feminine is also snapping out of ego. So I feel like that maybe she's been a little bit egotistic for the past couple days. I feel like, yeah, Divine Feminine has been through a lot lately. And I feel like, again, she's just overwhelmed. So I feel like this newness, this new energy, because I feel like Divine Feminine is going to go into a new chapter. I feel like that, yeah, she, she may be, um, I feel like that maybe she actually is dealing with a soulmate. And I feel like that right now, maybe she feels a little bit uncertain. Because she does want love. But I feel like Divine Feminine is also scared about that love too. She's scared that um, it might be taken away from her. And I do feel like, again, falling in love has actually brought up a lot of Divine Feminine's insecurities. She's like saying, I already thought you heal I healed this. And I feel like, again, Divine Feminine, you just have to do some inner child healing. You're still that tigress. You're still that um, female warrior. You don't feel, you're not lesser. You don't. Again, it's just like your old insecurities going up, and that's something you can handle. And they also feel as so, yeah, there's a ferocious, um, ferocious um, energy around the Divine Feminine. I feel like, again, she's tuning into that ferocity to actually help her soldier on. Because, again, Divine Feminine, I feel like, again, you're just going through the flows of your emotions. And you just have to learn to acknowledge each and every one of them. And the next one is Oracle Chaldea. So, yeah. When I see Divine Feminine, 37, 37 could be a number secret to see. But I think it's more like the 10, 10 is what you're seeing. So, yeah. Any of um chapter. So, I feel like Divine Feminine is also letting go of any and all karmic attachments. She is seeing that um she is still her greatest... um She is still the author and protagonist of her own story. And she is able to empower or disempower herself. And Divine Feminine is realizing that... There's a lot of, um, her anxiety has been disempowering her, so I think she's doing her best to actually, um, not let it roll her. Divine Feminine is more cerebral right now. She's not exactly, um, she's observing her emotions. She's letting them flow. She's no longer just going, just acting on them. She's just being observant because she doesn't want to be, like, feel so out of control. She wants to be, um... To know when to be in control and when not to be in control. And I feel like, again, Divine Feminine is just learning how to live in the present. She's actually gotten the hang of it. 
again, it was, like, very hard for her to surrender, but I feel like Divine Feminine has surrendered. But I do feel like she's still prone to overthinking. What I'm seeing for Divine Feminine is that, yeah, I feel like, again, I did see Third Eye activations are happening, so I feel like, again, Divine Feminine, you may be um, decalcifying your pineal gland at the moment. You've been flushing out any and all toxins, so I feel like some of you may have actually changed your diet. So I feel like, again, maybe you've been eating a lot of purple foods, um, maybe, yeah, grapes I'm hearing, plums, um, doesn't have to be. Um, I also feel as though, yeah, I feel like, again, Divine Feminine, you're, I feel like that maybe you're also, your skin has been glowing a lot more because you've been putting, um, self-care first. So I feel like, again, Divine Feminine, um, you're doing great so far. And I feel like, again, maybe a Divine Feminine needs to get a certain hair, uh, get a, a haircut or start a hairstyle. So maybe you've been on the fence about that divine feminine so yeah go um get a pedicure manicure um haircut and yeah i feel like again you just need you just need brand new energy you need of course just let it flow i feel like again divine feminine you're also a little bit starved for ideas so uh, you may be um i feel like again um the energies are kind of unstable at the moment so you've probably been sleeping a lot Maybe you've been very much, I feel like you're recalibrating your energy at the moment, Divine Feminine. And I do see there's a lot of codes coming in, light codes. So I feel like, again, you're going to get your next ins detailed instructions for the Divine. Um, and the Divine is always helping you, Divine Feminine. You're a Divine Feminine, that's why. And I feel like, again, maybe you feel like the Divine has turned your back on you. That's not exactly true. I feel like, again, Divine Feminine, you may be struggling with a grim dis disposition, maybe a pessimistic outlook you may be feeling like your divine masculine would never wake up and that maybe you're wondering about the identity of the divine masculine but i just think this is all doubts at the moment divine feminine um you know the truth you know um you know that that divine masculine loves you and i feel like you're just doubting it right now because you don't exactly you still haven't surrendered you still haven't you're still not seeing the genius behind the divine plan and the next card is um, the Vara Partha. So yeah, eleven eleven. Um, okay, yeah. Also one one one. Um, two two two. So yeah, these could be numbers you could have seen. I feel like again the angels are speaking to you, Divine Feminine. I feel like that you've been actually very in tune to the angels lately. Your spirit guides, whatever you um, dub them as. I feel like again the Divine is like showing you exactly um, that you're loved and that you're supported. No matter what decision, the, your guys love you unconditionally. And I feel like, again, you've been giving yourself, you've been, um, I feel like you've been very much hard on yourself for not foreseeing so-and-so. Or maybe that maybe you feel like your life is, like, too far off track. And I feel like Divine Feminine, that everything is happening as it should. And you might not see it now, but again, this is, again, I just see, Yeah. I feel like that maybe someone may be vomiting as much. I feel like, again, Divine Feminine has a fear of change. And I feel like she's actually um, making changes. But I feel like, again, she feels like it could be faster. Divine Feminine, I feel like maybe you're being too impatient with yourself. Don't be impatient. Just trust in the flow of the Divine Plan. Trust the, that this is in your highest good. You might not see it now. But again, you'll be thankful that you just told, listen to that eccentric psyche and say, hey, she's right. Um, just playing around. Um, just thought I'd light in the mood. So I feel like you get divine feminine. You're very much in a high vibration. You're no longer distributing your cup amongst other people. You're learning to be more selfish. You're learning how to be more um, protective of yourself. And you're learning it well. But I feel like, again, maybe you have to know when to be stopping so protective over yourself and guarded because I feel like that's a search for surefire way to close your heart chakra when you work so hard to actually have that not happen again so i feel like again maybe divine feminine is going through some heart chakra activations to ensure that doesn't happen because divine feminine um you are a bright light your light heals other people and you learn how to learn how to be selfish you're a little bit too selfless for your own good and i mean that's not exactly a bad thing but you just have to know when to um cut um cut your losses and just put yourself first. And I feel like you're in the mind feminine, you're realizing that you're still putting yourself second, even though you're very much in your power. So you're learning how to be more stingy. And I feel like that's very foreign to you because you're such a giving person. You give, you love, you flow. And I'm not telling you to like just be stingy. I mean, yeah, I get it. it's like, 
I don't know how to say the right words to it, but I feel like you know what I'm talking about anyway, Divine Feminine. Learn how to put boundaries. I feel like Divine Feminine is erecting boundaries right now to protect her cup. I feel like that right now, Divine Feminine, you may be also sick right now. And I think that's probably the Divine telling you you've been on um, working yourself far too hard and you just have, you've been avoiding the truth. And I feel like this truth is very much that Divine Feminine, that you just have to make some changes. I think that's the truth. And I think it's um, miscellaneous, so it varies. And they also see that Divine Feminine, that you're just overflowing with self-love at the moment. I feel like, again, your light is um, increasing in intensity. You're becoming more luminous. So, again, I feel like it's showing up in your skin, Divine Feminine. So, I feel like, again, these days, you just feel very much alive. Very much grateful. And I feel like, again, you're in a high vibration because you're practicing gratitude. You're being positive, And you're learning when to not be toxically positive. So, I feel like, again, Divine Feminine, you're also honoring your dark emotions at the we as well. And the next card is, let me see, Sovereign Queen Wave. So 40, 40, 4 for 4. And what I'm seeing for you, Divine Feminine, is that I feel like that for the most part, um, you're, you're no longer actually following what other people are saying. You are reclaiming your sovereignty. So for a while, you were like lacking in sovereignty. But now since you reclaimed your divinity, I feel like that you feel like you're on top of the world. So I feel like, again, this is a test for the divine. And then you pass this test, it's flying colors, divine feminine. And I feel like, again, you're being a little bit cautious. Maybe you're like in a situation where you cannot afford to like make any mistakes. And because, again, um... And I feel like, again, it's good to have discipline, Divine Feminine, but just learn, learn not to close your heart chakra. Learn to actually, I mean, learn not to give into temptation. There's a balance. Just find that balance. And don't be so strict on yourself. Speak loving words to your body. Remember, your body doesn't know any difference because, again, you're being ruled, I mean, you're always going to be ruled to some extent by your subconscious mind. So feed your subconscious mind's positivity. I feel, feel like subconscious healing can be very good for you, Divine Feminine. So, yeah. And I also feel as though Divine Feminine is crown chakra is activating too. So I feel like, again, her, con as I said, her consciousness is expanding. I feel like her connection to the Divine is strengthening. Her intuition is very much strengthening as well. So I feel like, again, Divine Feminine, you shouldn't dis um, discourage yourself so easily. I feel like, again, you're just going through the emotions of your, um, um, the emotions, the feels. Um, I feel like the moment you may be dealing with anger and sadness. And I feel like, again, this is very much connected to your anxiety, so let it flow. I feel like this someone may need to go to a massage therapist because they've been very tense. I'm feeling some back pain. And I'm also feeling some headaches, so, Yeah. And feel like, again, Divine Feminine, just do you. Just be gentle with yourself. And know that you're a badass queen no matter what. And the next card is Spirit Bear at 396 Hertz. So, 1515-666. So, what I'm seeing for you, um, Divine Feminine, is that, yeah, you're getting in touch with your um, shadow self. I feel like, again, you're doing some shadow work right now. And this shadow work is helping you just empower yourself even more. You're no longer afraid of the darkness because you realize you are the darkness. And darkness doesn't have to be bad. It's what you make of it. So everything is relative. And you know this, Divine Feminine. You know this better because you know that, that you're very much um, the architect of your own destiny. And there are many... You have many destinies, but only one fate. And the fate is the divine plan. But I feel like, again, what you're just lacking is trust right now. Perhaps you even um, distrust love at the moment. You may be afraid to fall in love again. Because maybe, um, I feel like you're just trying to find an excuse not to fall in love. Because um, divine feminine. I feel like that maybe you're just, you're not exactly holding on to your divine masculine. But I feel like you're just a little bit afraid because of what happened. So maybe you just have to, like feel like whatever emotions you feel because again i don't think um i think this soulmate won't hurt you i feel like again you're just being a little bit mistrustful because of your own past experiences it won't happen again because not everybody's the same everybody's on their own journey and i feel like this soulmate you may be wondering whether they'll stay because you feel like their love is too good to be true and that you you enjoy their presence and i feel like again um you fell for this person for a reason 
And you don't exactly have to know that reason right now, Divine Feminine. Just submit. Don't try to label the connection. Just enjoy it. Just feel it. Don't try to control it. I feel like, again, you're maybe having a lot of anxiety right now because you're, um, because this is new for you. This is, um, this is unexpected. And you don't like to deal with surprises. And maybe, I feel like, again, you just have to surrender, Divine Feminine. Don't try to control the journey. Just trust it. And, Again, just learn how to put boundaries, too. And I feel like, again, right now, Divine Feminine, you just have the weight of so many um, scenarios on your shoulders, and you just got to let it go. Just let things unfold as they're meant to be. Don't chase. Just be still and present. And the second to last card is the Pearl of Sorrow in reverse. So, yeah, 35, 35, 888. So I feel like again, divine feminine, feminine, that your abundance. You may, you may be wondering um why your business is being very slow at the moment, and you be, you may be like jumping to conclusions. It might be a psychically attack. Is there black magic? No, there isn't. Divine feminine, just right now, um, the divine is like having you just take it easy because you've been like too overloaded, and I think it's just time for you to just pull back and just take care of yourself, and. Don't exactly worry. Again, um, you're allowed to unwind. You're allowed to let your hair down. I mean, again, Divine Feminine, this is about, um, this journey is about you. So just do better to take care of yourself. And I also feel as though, Divine Feminine, your abundance is, yeah, your abundance is secure. I feel like, again, maybe you just have to um, push yourself out of your comfort zone. I feel like, again, maybe you've been wondering whether to make a business leap. Um, and you're being wondering whether it's a gambit or it's going to be a blunder. Just do it anyway because I feel like your guides are guiding you to make it in that direction. And I feel like some of you are worried about work. Um, I'm hearing that some of you may get a promotion. I'm also hearing that um, if you're on a mission, I feel like, again, your mission is going to expand even more. So I feel like there's going to be a door open. Maybe you're not exactly open to, like, advice at the moment for the divine, but I feel like that's why your crown chakra is expanding in the third eye because you're going to be getting some advice. And I feel like they do be ready to hear it. And I feel like, again, maybe you're wondering, maybe I'm just doing too much. No, it's just, I feel like, again, you just have to slow down. Because, again, the divine is, like, saying, it's just a very um, energetically um, exhausting time. And I just think you just have to be gentle with yourself. And I'm just hearing that. And the last card is the Theta of Venus. So, 25, 25. You may be Ven Venusian star seed. Or you could be a Taurus and a Libra, but um, you don't have to be. I'm also see, yeah, I feel like, again, you just have to um, live in the moment. You have to enjoy the pleasures of life. And it's not a bad thing to just, like, get wild once in a moment. Wild. I feel like, again, maybe you've just been, like, somebody may be a little bit sexually frustrated, so you could have the soulmate to actually have... Well, you know what I mean. But I feel like, again, Divine Feminine, um, that I just think right now... You've done, you've done enough, um, you may wonder, maybe I should just, I get, I feel like some of you guys have made your healing such a priority that you forgot to live for a moment, and I think Divine Feminine, it's just that time to live, it's not that time to actually, you know, worry about what's going to happen, what's the future, again, just be in the present, because I think you need it. And I think you also need, I know, yeah, do this rejuvenation. So I feel like, again, if you've been, like, one, I feel like, again, just take care of your Divine Feminine. So, yeah, that is it for Divine Feminine. So the deck that we use for Divine Masculine is the Everyday Witch Tarot by Deborah Blake. Or is by Elizabeth Alba. So let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine. First card out for Divine Masculine is King of Wands. So what I'm seeing for Divine Masculine is that I feel like he's actually seeing that his life needs to be going through some 
through a revolution of sorts. And I feel like, again, the Divine is telling him to get rid of the Karmic. And I feel like he's a little bit reluctant because he's codependent on the Karmic, but he's starting to see that he has to break free from her. But he's scared at the same time because I feel like Divine Masculine didn't exactly expect for um, to part from the Karmic for so soon. I feel like that he has some sort of plan that he refuses to deviate from. But now he's starting to see that he has to deviate from it because his... Um, I feel like that he's been sick at, at, at the moment. I feel like that maybe he's been throwing up. Um, I'm also feeling as though, yeah, he could be, like, very much under the weather. And I feel like, again, Divine Masculine has taken too much on his plate. So I feel like, again, the twins are mirroring right now. And I'm also seeing for Divine Masculine that I feel like, again, he's trying to control the flow of his own journey. But I feel like the Divine is telling him to let go and to just trust and to take risks. And Divine Masculine is like saying, I don't want to take a risk. I have to plan everything out. And I feel like he's very much in his head of his connection with the Divine Feminine. He wants to come toward her and make her a strong offer. But he feels like she's very, she moved on. I feel that he's actually stalking her right now on social media. Trying to figure out more about the soulmate. And I feel like, again, he's trying to tell himself that um, he's, the soulmate's not a threat. But I feel like, again, he feels threatened. Because he feels like... He's actually going to lose Divine Feminine. But I feel like he's trying to actually remain in his ego for the time. Because he doesn't want to believe that the Divine Feminine would be capable of moving on. But I feel like the Divine Feminine is all but detached from Divine Masculine. And Divine Masculine is now holding on. He wants to fight for this connection. He wants to show Divine Feminine that... I feel like, again, there's a contract ending. So I feel like Divine Masculine is going to say goodbye to a lot of karmic cycles. I feel like, again... Um, I feel like that he's going to dismiss a lot of people. I'm also seeing that um, Divine Master might get a divorce um, from a karmic. Um, I'm also seeing, yeah, I'm also seeing um, probably a business um, closing in on, closing in, like an end of a contract. I'm also seeing that maybe friendships ending. But I do see something of Divine Masculine's going to lose something big. And I feel like, again, he's not going to be able to ignore that loss. Because the Divine is, like, Divine is towering him right now. And I feel like Divine Masculine's stressed out. He refuses to see that, um, that the Divine is giving him Divine Justice. And the Divine is, like, saying, you know what? You've been very reluctant to make all these decisions. So now we're going to make things much harder. So I feel like Divine Masculine doesn't want to admit that he's the cause of... He's the architect of his own happiness. I feel like he's blame shifting right now. I feel like he maybe blamed Divine Feminine, saying, saying, thinking that, that he's never met her, that he wouldn't exactly have so much of a hard time with this. And I feel like, again, he's seeing himself as a victim. And am I also feeling that Divine Masculine, yeah, I'm do seeing cats here. So I feel like Divine Masculine might be actually being um, told to get a cat because there's a lot of negative energy around Divine Masculine. And I feel like the, the your guys just want to protect him, but Divine Masculine's not listening. He feels cut off from the Divine, but I feel like Divine Masculine has to surrender too. He has to realize that his way is not always the right way, and that he just has to trust um, the higher power, and the higher power is speaking to him. And I feel like again, Divine Masculine's being told to do some shadow work, and I feel like he's afraid to face his own shadow because He's afraid of his own power. He's afraid to um, succeed. And he's never been held accountable before until Divine Feminine. And I feel like, again, he resents her because he can't exactly pull away from her either. I feel like Divine Masculine might be getting drunk right now. He may be getting, um, yeah, high. Doesn't have to be. But I feel like, again, Divine Masculine is actually um, in the middle of clearing him addict uh, of his addiction and trauma. So I feel like, again, the next card is Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like he's actually seeing that Divine Feminine standing in his, her power. And it, he just wonder if Divine Feminine is like thinking about him. While, but he's seeing Divine Feminine is having the time of her life. And she's just happy with that on him. And I think that enrages him because he's always thought Divine Feminine has been very needed him. And he feels offended because she no longer needs him. And I feel like he wants to come in and tell her that, hey, I thought you loved me. And I feel like, again, he's insecure about where he stands with Divine Feminine. Because Divine Feminine is, yeah, again, with this Divine Masculine just doesn't know what's going on. And I feel like he wants, I feel like, again, there's also abundance here. So Divine Masculine is also concerned about his abundance. But I feel like his abundance is very much stable at the moment. I feel like that maybe he's made some business. So he could be a businessman, but I think he made, in the past, he made some very um, costly mistakes. And he's recovered from those mistakes. 
But I feel like for the moment, Divine Masculine is just like interested in what Divine Feminine is doing. I feel like again, he can't stop thinking about her. And he's wondering whether she'll just forgive him for all the wrongdoings he's done. And he feels like Divine Feminine is very unimpressed with him. And he feels, um, and he wants to show her that there's more to him than we see I. And that she doesn't, as, and she, he just can't live with her judging him. And Divine Masculine, but I feel like Divine Masculine knows that Divine Feminine is a very sophisticated, intelligent woman. So he knows that if he comes to her in authentic, in inauthentic energy, that she will reject him. And his ego can't handle a world where he can reject her. So I feel like, again, um, he's staying away from her at the time being. And I feel like also, uh, Divine Masculine is also... I feel like he's also reflecting at the moment. He's reflecting about the past. He's wondering if he every time he's wondering why he's so unhappy. And the only times he could think of when he was happy was when he was a divine feminine. But he ran away from his happiness, and he's starting to see that that's not the answer. But I feel like again, divine master is coming to the conclusion that divine feminine is very much a central part of his happiness, not in a codependent way. But I'm just saying that he can't exactly. Um, he won't be able to replicate that same happiness with another as he did with the Divine Feminine. Because again, I feel like he was in his authentic self. He was um, the highest version of himself with the Divine Feminine. And that ha the happiness you feel from being authentic is something that is unrivaled. So he can always try to um, cling on to the pale imitation that he has with the karmic. But it's never going to surpass what he has with the Divine Feminine. And the next card is the Three of Swords. But I feel like Divine Masculine is very much wondering why, why is Soulmate now? Why is she moving on now? And he's like saying, he's like, in his head, it's like he wants to come forward and remove the competition. But Divine Masculine is like, how do I know this person's competition? And my insecurities get in the better for me? So I feel like Divine Masculine is trying to tell himself that the Soulmate is, it's not going to last. That... I feel like, again, he's very much jealous at this point and heartbroken to Divine Feminine when they're entertaining another. And he's trying to act like he doesn't care, but I feel like deep down inside he does care. And he's going to be fighting himself for the next couple of weeks. But I feel like that his heart will win out in the end. Because Divine Masculine has been operating from his ego for a very long time. I'm also seeing throat chakra activations, so Divine Masculine is being aligned to his inner truth. And so even if he's trying to avoid being authentic feel like he's going to make um, his next decision based on authenticity. So he may seem like he's not doing nothing, but I feel like Divine Masculine could be journaling. I feel like he also could be writing practice letters to the Divine Feminine. But I think he deletes them because he just doesn't know what to say and he thinks it sounds too corny. And I feel like Divine Masculine has been oversleeping lately. He hasn't exactly um, been, yeah, a lot of depression could be a dark night of the soul. But I feel like Divine Masculine is being called to clear any past heartbreak that he has. I'm also seeing solar plexus chakra activations. So I feel like Divine Masculine is also being called to step into his power. And the next card is the King of Pentacles. So what I see for Divine Masculine, yeah. I feel like that he's actually learning to be more stable. He's learning to be more um, authentic. And he's learning to stand in his um, divinity. And I feel like that scares him because he's never been held accountable to some... But I feel like Divine Masculine is stubborn. He feels like he needs to do this. He needs to actually change. But he doesn't know how to do that. And he, he knows that the karmic's never going to approve of his newfound um, philosophy. And I feel like Divine Masculine is going through a lot of um, changes at the moment internally. So I feel like, yeah, even though it seems like there's no movement happening, happening, there's movement happening within. And I feel like Divine Masculine, I'm also seeing that there's a cup here. So I feel like Divine Masculine may be actually, um, yeah, I do see grapes. So I feel like Divine Masculine is actually, yeah, I feel like this is a fertile time for Divine Masculine. All of his plans, I feel like the plans that he's actually going to um, set into motion are going to be very successful. So I feel like, again, that's one of the reasons why he's delayed making a decision. Because, again, he needs to have the whole facts before he moves toward Divine Feminine. And I feel like, again, he's just trying to be impartial right now. He's trying to be fair. And I feel like Divine Masculine might be actually um, consuming a lot of sweets lately. I'm feeling that, like, someone is actually has a toothache. So I feel like Divine Masculine might um, need to go to the dentist. Um, doesn't have to be. 
But I'm also seeing, yeah, Divine Masculine has made his health sense second. So I feel like Divine Feminine, you have to make your health um, important as well for Divine Masculine to actually take that lead and realize he has been acting way too selfless and he needs to be way more selfish. And I'm also seeing that heart chakra activation. So I do see Divine Masculine being called to step into his heart center again. He's going to be living a heart center life and then come the next few months. But I feel like there's a lot of shifts that need to still be happen because this divine masculine is very much off the off track. And I feel like again, there should have been communication that came in now, but due to the black magic, I feel like this connection has been off of course. So I feel like again, because of that, it's not exactly all divine masculine's fault, but it's, he's not exactly um getting off scot-free. So I feel like yeah, Divine Masculine is going to go through so much change that they have no choice but to contact Divine Feminine to actually understand what's going on. And I'm also seeing Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like, again, yeah, there are still delays going on. There are still um, lessons he has to learn. So I feel like at the moment, Divine Masculine is going to still cultivate. I feel like he's cultivate, yeah, his... Divine masculinity. Because I feel like divine masculine is rebirthing himself. He is learning to real acknowledge his own self worth and self confidence. And I feel like this divine masculine has a lot of anxiety. And I feel like he's actually releasing that anxiety. I'm feeling that some divine masculine has actually decided to um, start losing weight and actually channel his energy into other constructive outlets, such as like boxing, um, it could be um, swimming. I'm seeing that there's like, yeah, it says it's summer here. I'm thinking it's most likely it's going to be summer sports, but also boxing, baseball, basketball. But I feel like Divine Masculine's doing everything he can in order to actually move that anger, that anxiety. He doesn't want to be in that energy anymore. He wants to be calm, um, level headed, and he has for the most mo mo moment. But I feel like, yeah, Divine Masculine's going to be um, learning a thing or two about. Um, being in true masculine energy because he feels like he's in true masculine energy but I don't think, yeah, he's in karma masculine energy so I feel like this divine masculine is going to be switching back into his authentic default energy. And I'm also seeing that divine masculine is also making um, calls that are um, not exactly in alignment with who he is so I feel like yeah, he's going to get begin in a wake up call. And the next call card is um five of cups so what i see for divine masculine um yeah there's like two more cards after this what i see for divine masculine i do feel like the moment there's someone's birthday may have passed and i feel like divine masculine wanted to reach out on their birthday but i feel like um he, re he refused to because he feels like the divine feminine would not be receptive and i feel like again he's wrestling with this he's crying over this connection he's wondering if he's realizing how much he loves divine feminine but he thinks it's too late and yet, at the same time, he wants to move toward her anyway. So I feel like he's trying to, he's holding back all that unconditional love for her at the moment. But I think that's ironically making him want her even more. I feel like that he may be dreaming about her. I'm also seeing that there's also past life dreams. But I'm seeing for the most part, he's fantasizing about her sexually. I feel like that he want, he, but he feels like this relationship is not going to be able to be recovered and that he's better off moving off with the, with the karmic and maybe he can actually, but I feel like again, he, even he doesn't believe that. He's starting to see that um, no matter what he does, he can't get over Divine Feminine and Divine Feminine is always with the one in his eyes, but he feels like again, with his soulmate, he's too late. So what's the point of even trying anyway? And the second to last card is Ace of Cups. So I feel like, again, Divine Masculine is on the verge of a massive shift. And I feel like this shift would have him set boundaries for more people. And I feel like, again, um, he's going to fill up his cup and actually not, he's going to, he's not going to let people drink from it anymore. I feel like Divine Masculine might, is also working on an offer for Divine Feminine anyhow. He might not exactly, he, he realizes that he just has to try. And I feel like that's actually the hardest thing he's going to do because he's always been, wanting to play it safe and be cautious but now he's starting to see that he wants to follow his heart and it's going to take a while because divine masculine has a lot of karmic cycles but they're ending anyhow so i feel like this divine masculine needs courage to send some love and light to the um any anyway because i feel like again divine masculine is very receptive to you divine feminine even in the 5d 
And the last card is four of pentacles. So don't worry whether this divine masculine will um will never come forward because I do see him coming forward because he can't let you go. You're literally his lifeline, divine feminine. And I feel like again he just feels like he has to be worthy of you, and he everything has to be perfect. But I'm st he's still he still yeah he still has to see that he is good enough as he is, and he just has to make an offer and just hope for the best. So yeah, that is it for the Twin Flames. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, or subscribe. And I will see you another time. Namaste.